Congratulations on your selection of an ADEMCO security system. While your new system has many advanced features, you're going to be amazed at how easy it is to use. First, let's look at the way your new system works. There are sensors that protect windows and doors. These are known as perimeter sensors because they can detect an entry into your home. There are also devices which detect motion inside the house, which is known as interior protection. And your security system may use smoke detectors also. If an alarm occurs, a sounder activates, and an alarm message is sent to a central monitoring station. The central monitoring station is on duty 24 hours a day, and they notify your local police or an appropriate authority about the emergency. You have complete control of your security system from the keypad that was installed in your home. There are several keypad styles available, but they all operate exactly the same. And each uses easy to read English, which tells you the system's status at all times. If you have a keypad with customized English, the location and type of event are identified by name. With the fixed word keypads, a number identifies the location of an event and your records indicate what each number represents. I'll be demonstrating the custom English keypad, but you will see the display for the fixed word keypad in the bottom left corner of your screen. Your alarm installer has provided you with a four-digit security code which lets you control the system. In the demonstrations on this video, the code will be 1234. Let's first take a look at how you can turn on the protection, which is known as arming the system. Normally, every door and window under the system's protection must be closed before it can be armed. When the ready indicator is on, all doors and windows are closed and the system can be armed. If the ready indicator is not on, a door or window may have been left open. In that case, push the star key. Any doors or windows that must be closed will be identified. The most common way to arm the system is with the away mode. In the away mode, all protection is on, both interior and perimeter. It's used when you're leaving and no one will be left home. Enter your four-digit security code and then press the away key. You now have ample time to leave through the exit door, normally under a minute. After that time, the exit door is under the system's protection. When you return home, the console will start beeping immediately. This is a reminder to you, a reminder that you must turn off the protection or disarm your security system. Simply enter your code and the off key. The ready indicator should come back on immediately. Now you've seen how to arm the system when you're leaving and how to disarm the system once you've arrived back home. But what if you'll be staying home? Well, with the stay mode, you can still move around the house freely and feel secure. Simply enter your code. Press the stay key. All indoor security devices will now be turned off, but the protection on your entry door and all other perimeter sensors are still on. If someone arrives home later through the entry door, they'll hear the beeps when they enter and must turn the system off as usual. Any disturbance of another protected entry point, like an outside window, will cause an immediate alarm. Still another way to arm your system is with the instant mode. Use the instant mode if you're staying home and not expecting anyone to arrive later. Enter the code as before and press the instant key. You can now move freely throughout your home, but the alarm will sound immediately if someone opens any protected door or window. Let's quickly review the most common ways to arm your security system. Use the away mode when you're leaving. If you're remaining home but would like the protection of the system, use the stay mode. You can move around freely inside your home. When everyone is in for the evening, use the instant mode. On the keypads that have a custom English display, a convenient user's manual is actually built in and available to you at any time. 
Simply hold down any key for five seconds and instructions for that feature can be viewed in the display window. If set up by your installer, your system can conveniently and quickly be armed without entering your code. It's called QuickArm. To use QuickArm, all you have to do is enter the pound symbol instead of your security code, and then the function, whether it be away, stay, or instant. For example, just pressing pound and then away will arm your system in the away mode. With QuickArm, you can show a maid or someone else how to arm your system without having to reveal your secret four-digit code. On occasion, there might be a need to remove a specific zone or location from your system. For instance, when you're home, you may want to leave an upstairs window open to get some fresh air, but arm the rest of the system. This is called bypassing. Simply enter your security code and press the bypass key and then the zone number to be bypassed. Remember that all single digit zone numbers must be preceded with a zero. Our window, zone two, must be entered as zero two. Later, when the system is disarmed, the bypass is canceled. A bypass is not permanent. It must be re-entered every time you arm. And please keep in mind that your fire sensors are always on. They cannot be disarmed or bypassed. If you ever set off the alarm accidentally, simply enter your code and the off key. This will silence the alarm. The display now shows you the location and type of alarm that occurred. To clear the display, enter your code and off again. An important feature of your security system is the ability to summon help in the event of a household emergency. Ask your installer about the emergency capabilities of your system. And also ask about your duress code. This is a special code that's used only if you're forced to disarm the system under threat. The duress code sends a silent message to the central monitoring station while the system appears to disarm as usual. Your user's manual explains other helpful and easy-to-use features that fit right into your family's lifestyle. First, you can assign temporary codes. These are security codes that you can create for other family members or perhaps a babysitter. Another handy feature is the chime mode. With the chime mode, anytime someone enters your home, a beep will sound. It's a great way to keep track of the kids. You've seen how to operate the security system from your keypad, but you can control your system in other ways, using options that are available from your dealer. First, with this handheld remote keypad, you can control your system from anywhere in the house, from the garden or even from the car as you drive up to the house. Turn it on by pressing the star key, and then simply use it like any other household keypad. Status lights and beeps verify that the command you entered was carried out. You may also have a convenient wireless key, which has three buttons. These buttons are programmed by your dealer to suit your individual preferences and needs. For instance, it might be programmed so that as you approach your door with the press of one button, your porch and foyer lights come on, and with the press of another button, your security system disarms. Finally, your system may have been installed with the VIP, the Vista Interactive Phone. With the VIP, any touchtone telephone, at home or away, can control your system just like a keypad. To use it from a remote location, you simply dial your phone number and, when prompted, enter the two-digit phone code that was provided to you by your dealer. If you have an answering machine, enter the two-digit phone code during a pause in your outgoing message. Then the system will prompt you for your four-digit security code. Enter system code now. When the correct code is entered, the system will report its status to you. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Now, you can use the equivalent telephone keys to control your security system. 
To make it real easy, a pocket reference chart reminds you which keys to use. For example, the away key is the 2 key. So, if you forgot to arm your alarm system, just enter the security code and the 2 key. You can also control your security system from the telephones in your home. When you pick up the receiver, just enter your two-digit phone code to gain access to your security system. I hope that this videotape has helped you and your family become familiar with the basic operation and features of your new security system. For more information, consult the user's manual, which has complete instructions on the operation of every feature. The manual also explains how to test the system, something you should do on a regular basis. And pay close attention to the recommendations for practicing an emergency evacuation in the event of a fire. Again, congratulations on selecting an ADEMCO security system, the most advanced protection available for your home and family. Thank you. Would your friends and neighbors be interested in the same security and peace of mind that you now enjoy? If so, please contact your ADEMCO dealer.